This is a case of a young Paralympic uh, tennis table player with multiple epiphyseal dysplasia syndrome that presented to us with recurrent knee locking and the catching on a daily basis. Under general anesthesia we can see that there is a recurrent uh, almost knee subluxation. It looks like as if it is a knee subluxation but there is definitely very uh, clear knee catching and locking on uh, flexion and extension of his uh, left knee. We then uh, proceeded with the uh, arthroscopic examination. There were no loose bodies in the suprapatella pouch and the uh, healing cartilage of the patella looked intact. There is some cartilage irregularity in the patellofemoral joint. The medial compartment shows some irregularity of the medial femoral condyle but no gross instability of the cartilage or the meniscus. The ACL as well looks a bit lax but overall intact and continuous. But here we can see that during deep flexion there was gross uh, instability of a very irregular huge uh, cartilage flap of the posterior aspect of the medial femoral condyle we therefore proceeded with resection of this cartilage piece with a troscopic shaver um, and then uh, with the use of grasper and, and other tools we were able to resect and smoothen this posterior femoral condyle cartilage and at the end of this uh, procedure we, we were able to re reproduce knee flexion and extension without any locking or catching of the femoral condyle. On the lateral compartment there was also some irregularity of the, of the, of the cartilage which was resected, the, the lateral meniscus was intact. And then finally at the end of the procedure with the patient still under general anesthesia we were able to flex and extend the knee without any locking or catching and thus his symptoms were completely eliminated.